For Clara Strait, 98 years of memories always led back here, home. Right in this house, I think it was brand new, and so was I. So we're aging together. <laughs> you can see the age on the house, but not too bad. But I've spent 98, uh, no, 97 Christmases here. I never forget, never miss a Christmas. That's my little road. So I've painted it every season. For more than 30 years, Strait was a professor at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York. And I was there for 36 years. <laughs> and I've been retired for almost 36 years. Where she taught art classes. My basic uh, course was called Color and Design, and they just turned it over to me. They knew I had a master's in painting and sculpture, and I could do anything with it I want. So I drew up on my painting and sculpture training and introduced a lot of interesting things, and they turned over the design art gallery to me to put on art shows, and I had to and bring up uh, a new show once a month, so I was a busy girl, but it was a lot of fun. I did a lot of traveling. On sabbatic leaves, I could do just about anything I wanted to. So one time I spent my sabbatic leave in Australia, and uh, another time uh, I was on an art and music study tour of Europe. And one time, I just came back to the farm and painted all winter long, and I told myself I'm going to paint one painting a week, and I did. I went back with about 45 paintings. That I kept some of them from that time. But there was no place like home. Everything else was foreign. It still is. I never felt at home anywhere else. There's my road again. It was in the dead of winter. It was a full moon, and it's called full moon 20 below zero, and it was. I would get it started in the daylight, and then I'd run down there until I was too cold to do it, and I'd study how the moonlight expressed itself. A home shared through brush strokes. I always, uh, went back out there with a whole bundle of paintings. The people out there were just uh, fascinated with my paintings of Missouri. With just some paint and a blank canvas, a moment turned into a memory. When I decide to paint something, it's because I just caught a glimpse. And that's it, he struck me, you know, a glimpse. I try to feel it out and express the mood of it, not just painting a, an object but I want to get the mood and the life of the whatever I'm looking at. Clara never had a day of art class until she was fortunate enough to attend high school. And I'll never forget the thrill I got of her showing me how you, how you flowed watercolor on the page. I, I thought that was the most beautiful thing I ever saw. From there on, I just was all out. <laughs> this was the old Yarrow Mill in watercolor, cheap watercolor, you can tell, is faded. And uh, I was just out of high school, and I sent it to the Missouri State Fair of Sedalia, and I got a prize on it. Across 98 years, Clara has painted thousands of memories and still paints every day. These are the ones I did this spring. That's out in my yard with the daffodils, a little chicken house. To share her beauty of her home in Missouri to countless other homes across the country. The greatest compliment I've ever had was one of my little students that said, Miss Strait, when I look at your paintings, I know there really is a place like that somewhere. And I thought, well, that's just what I've been trying to do all my life.